boarded up, deserted, and with no indication of when they're likely to reopen, it's a difficult time for the UK's restaurant industry. I've committed every penny of savings I have into this. If, if this folds, I, I lose everything, literally. Sam Harrison has been running restaurants in West London since 2005. His latest venture, Sam's Riverside, opened just six months ago, but in March was forced to close. Like many restaurants in lockdown, it now needs to find a way of raising cash to keep the business ticking over. Sam has introduced a voucher scheme. Customers can go online, purchase any amount that they want now, and then redeem that when the restaurant reopens along with a 10% discount. So far, the scheme has raised more than $50,000. I've been blown away by the, the response. I think it shows uh, that people do support local businesses. When people find a business they like, it, it, it is a sort of relationship. The money has gone towards staff wages for March, paying suppliers, and will help restock the restaurant on reopening, which Sam estimates will cost $25,000. As a new enterprise, Sam's Riverside negotiated a rent-free period for the first year. That's a huge advantage. For most, paying rent while being closed down is an enormous financial burden. Restaurants are being acutely affected because they have large overheads from their site premises and costs. So they are having a cash burn through, through money uh, and struggling to stay afloat through a prolonged closure period. Uh, the government has put in place an unprecedented level of support, but many of these restaurants are now hanging on by their fingertips uh, and will struggle to restart successfully unless further support is forthcoming. For those that do survive, there's likely to be more uncertainty ahead, as social distancing restrictions could have a big impact on capacity. So it's not just how to keep afloat now that's giving restaurants some food for thought, but also how to keep customers and staff safe when it's time to let them back in. Natalie Powell, TRT World, London.